well, how's it going? My name's uh, Colin Royer. I'm an 11 6 student at Gertie College here. And uh, this is my uh, fabrication project that I had to do uh, as part of our course. We uh, completed this project over the past few months. We've done a brief as well alongside it in detail. Uh, for my project, I made uh, a lot splitter as you can see. But uh, a ram, a jaw, there's a valve just there in the back. Simple enough, it's just splitting your logs there and the top of your checker plate. Good strength in the base, made up with 2 by 4 inch box. Uh, the ram probably off of a shear grab, good strong ram. It'll be able to split sort of everything. Uh, my name is Dorma Brack and I'm a level 6 uh, agriculture student at Gough Jane College. Um, as part of my fabrication module, I made a front toolbox. Slides, stuff on it. Do a brief on it. Paint with a two pack paint with a primer coat underneath it. And I'm going to use it at home on my own farm for carrying spare tools around and doing a higher work and that kind of cultural contract. Uh, hi, my name is Frank Morgan and this is my Gardein project. Uh, the double bay lifter is meant to uh, carry two bales beside each other. One side is pushing out and uh, to one side, the other side is pushing up. This is just so that when uh, you're lifting one bale that's not moving off the ground when it's going into the other. Um, I thought of this because I thought it would be very handy on my own farm. How's it going? My name is Matthew Tierney from Gorkine College here. And, uh, this is my fabrication project. It's a 3 metre spring loaded 11 leg rubber. Um, and I mounted a crumbler roller on the back. Um, it has a smaller headstock, uh, bad welding on it, had no frame going back to the middle, and, um, and I decided to mount the roller hydraulically. Uh, I put a new headstock on it out of the new box there, and then brought a beam coming across the middle, and was done a new A frame on the back, and mounted the hydraulic roller off that. Cut up this, this was originally a four meter roller, cut that down to three um, and I made up a frame for the back of it. Then mounted the hydraulic roller onto it and uh, created a gauge one up the side of it for depth of the roller. So when I'm traveling up and down the field, I can tell by the gauge how deep I'm going with my rubber legs. That's through my roller and through the big carries. Um, well, how are you getting on? My name is uh, Lewis Butler. I'm uh, doing the uh, level 6 crop machine right here at Curtin College, and uh, we're here today uh, showing off the, our fabrication project. I uh, made a stone for because sort of even one at home from sort of part of the country we're from. It's very stony, so it is. So, this is your one. Made a hundred box, 10 mil wall. And, at the time of a local man and I'm happy the way the project turned out. My name is Tom Lowry, I'm in the level 6 crop computer course here in Brazil. Um, for my course, uh, we had to do a fab fabrication project and um, we were given some new ways to make the make project. And I, I made this for mine. It's a solid fire brush up. So Basically, goes on a pallet fork from the machine and uh, you use it to push inside it to get out of the pine stuff. So it's basically just a super thick wire and then with bits of steel, box iron, blade, and box section. Hi, my name is David Dooley. I'm a level 6 crop machinery student from um, Gertrude College. My um, project, I met a 7 foot dome floor. It has a it's all three and a half inch box with a um, 10 mil wall for the bottom section that the uh, bushings are in and the rest is all 7 mil box. And um, for the up and down section here, I use a 2 inch box for uh, stop the dome pushing out. I also put a um, euro bracket on the back and a track and loader hole. I just found the uh, a dope part is very useful at home for road dogs and clean them in bed. It'd be a handy tool to have. And then, um, I'm 
don't make, and I don't improve my weather.